And we got when YouTubers mess with real gangsters. Let's get straight into it. From getting punched oh! to getting here are seven times dumb influencers messed with the wrong people. Starting with I don't recognize any of these people. Possibly the most annoying creator in existence. Jack Doherty. Jack Doherty. Oh fuck. His Brody. daredevil stunts and pranks, some of which are illegal, have had the police being called on him various times. Some you know how petite and small being you gotta be to lean on one of those things and for it to not fall over? I say that to say, this is 90 pounds soaking wet. Pressing. That is hilarious. Press some weights, bro. Damn. Called on him various times. For the remainder of your time, you need to put me on. I think I'm allowed to record yeah. for my personal... Yeah, you're in my cousin. Now Jack's Ooh. behavior during his streams grew increasingly disturbing with his move to Los Angeles, eventually leading him to getting involved in serious situations with his fellow influencers. One such example. Once again, do you know how small you gotta be to get pressed by this? <laughs> this oh my god, bro. Please. Example was his altercation with Fusi. In August what 2023, again? Jack was streaming live with Fusi and Neon when Fusi decided to throw water at I Jack for calling him shit. a beta male. Yo, yo, yo. The situation then escalated when Fousey sw- I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Niggas like Fousey scare me, bro. Have you seen, have you, I'm, I'm about to sound corny, but have you seen this nigga's crash outs, bro? A nigga that, like, I can't even, like, I don't even know. I want no smoke with a nigga like this, bro. That's the type of nigga to, like, bite you or something, bro. Flung back at Jack after fuck he continued here, making yeah, comments. Fuck out of However, Jack's fans defended him a lot. Oh, that's a cool Fousey laptop. is actually in the worst state I've ever seen him in. And he comes across as a nasty and disgusting person. The way he treated Jack was just crazy. Uh -huh. But this wasn't the only time Jack's offhand comments have gotten him into trouble. And while Jack is at least aware that he's annoying and picks on weak targets, the same can't be said about Neon, who got reality checked much harder than just a slap. I'm telling you, when Fousey got the shiesty on, no sir, no sir, I don't want it, I don't want it. Neon first got the taste of clout for playing dumb on December 21st, 2019. Which is so crazy, bro. I remember people making videos about that in whenever the fuck, that was forever ago. That shit was forever ago. And for him to come back and get bigger than that, cause like when people were making videos about him faking death, they were like, ah, it's the only thing he's gonna do, da 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 da, he's gonna fall off, da 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 da. He got way bigger. I mean, off of degenerate shit, but that's crazy, bro. I'm not gonna lie. 19, when he uploaded a video titled, Neon is Dying. Two days later, on December 23rd, he published a video called, Neon's Final Words. Another three days went yeah. by, and on December 26th, it was announced that Neon was gone. However, only five days later, on December 31st, he uploaded a video telling his fans that he survived and that it only took two days for him to recover from his brain tumor and seizure. <laughs> a lot of people made fun of him, making sarcastic comments such as, he came, he girl. conquered, he died, he, he resurrected. resurrected. <laughs> Were you killed? Mm, sadly, yes, but, but I lived. I'm so sad he died, but he's alive. This encouraged Neon even further, as in mid-2023, a video of him getting beat up surfaced. However, this time around, a lot of people knew about his spineless behavior and weren't taking things at face value anymore, believing the video was fake from the start. Bro, no one gets caught lacking in the middle of a field and gets their short ripped, but their glasses, glasses stay, stay on. on. His shirt not even dirty, and they in dirt. Now, it's possible no one ever told Neon about the boy who cried wolf. You know, if you intentionally disrespect the wrong person, they'll give you a reality check, and rightfully so. Why is he sitting in the corner? Neon. Yeah, bro, that's some pussy shit. Fucking with a nigga who was wearing a shiesty in open toe shoes who was sitting facing a corner is crazy work, bro. He can't match the toxicity of Jerka, a creator so vile, is. Twitch permanently banned him from appearing on their site. Jerka initially made a name for himself as a just chatting content creator on Twitch. However, he soon diverged to criticizing people such as Andrew. Niggas get them shades. Niggas get them shades and sit like this and just get to say a bullshit, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> Tate on both YouTube and Twitter. How many rounds? Here we go. Up that bald midget. How many I'm you? taller, I'm stronger, and he's bald. 
These guys are pathetic, low life, no genuine virtue. Yeah, them veneers is veneering, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Desire from any of their women. While at the same time promoting even worse ideals on top of glorifying drug usage. I got money, so I get executive. That doesn't kill me. He also often talks about the Earth being flat and many other conspiracy oh, theories. Remember, if the Earth's a globe, the Bible's not real. If the Earth had dinosaurs, the Bible's not real. Um, literally, every angle is an attack on the Bible, right? This stupidity would eventually make him start a beef with HS Tiki Talkie and popular streamer Aiden that? Ross, causing an outrage on social media by making derogatory comments regarding HS Tiki Talkie's mother, as well as Aiden Ross's former partner, Pammy. Jerka then took the rivalry to new heights when he suggested that he'll find HS Tiki Talkie and- Why do soul niggas love walking like that? <laughs> it's like, bro, calm down. Fight him on the streets, and he did just that. Oh, boys, boys, boys! Oh. 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 Looking like oh, that, and you dropped is crazy. Oh, chill, chill. Unsurprisingly, oh, the only thing he to do is merely show his butt crack to the world and get embarrassed. I didn't see that coming. I thought. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> is he a is he a fighter or something, or is he just like a regular person? I don't know who this is, but getting beat by a nigga with Tiki Taki in his name and you walking like these? That's crazy. Making him out to be a laughing stock for everyone. Yeah. Jerka is the literal definition of the loudest in the room is usually the weakest. Jerka has the agility of an armadillo and the balance of a toddler. Now, Jerka oh. may possibly be his own worst enemy, but the same can also be said about Sneeko, who's oh, recent. Bro. Oh, Sneeko used to be literally, literally one of my favorite YouTubers of all time, bro. Like, <sighs> bro, his video, like he used to, if y'all don't know, he used to make like these vlogs, think pieces, whatever you want to call them, but they were so beautifully edited that like, I don't know that he used to make amazing videos this like but the thing is it's just a re representation of the the internet bro like he wasn't making a lot of money off of that so i mean once he found out that he can make money off of off of controversy and clips like he just completely switched over to that and it's unfortunate but like the internet likes toxicity the internet likes stuff like, like i'm reacting to toxicity like that's just the internet but damn bro I don't want to call it a fall off, but the pivot, he lost me. He lost me, bro. But I, I was subscribed to this nigga's Patreon, bro. I used to love this nigga. Oh, pause. Stunt had him hit much worse. Uh, this guy, who first got famous for his video, Would You I Say the N-Word for a Dollar? Eventually started becoming extremely disliked by left-wing viewers due to his supposed misogynistic, homophobic, you gotta talk and about transphobic content. You gotta talk about, uh, like, they can ask us what good. we do. First question when you go on a date, what do you do? They're just asking how much money do you make, but you shouldn't ask a woman her age. Why? Why? Let me see the stats. What's your body count? How old are you? How much you weigh? Tell me. As Sneeko went on to upload social political commentary and hot takes, uh, his ideals He's skipping the good shit, but damn. Sneeko used to be so fire, bro. Led him into situations that quickly developed damn. into beefs. One such instance was in May 2022, where yeah, Sneeko responded to Penguin Zero's video voice. live. Look, like, you look, look at the curtain pulled all the way down. You need to get some sun. The whole way you're living life like a f***ing a man, you calling him a virgin, you are literally a man child. Now this did not go down well with Penguin Zero, who later uploaded a video titled, I didn't want to talk about this, calling out Sneeko for making fun of his girlfriend, as well as criticizing him for defending the movie Cuties. The thing about Cuties is it's not an unrealistic film. Like, like yes, it shows children in a sexual way, but this is not point blank period it should end there yeah like ugh. not unusual now claiming children in sexual positions is clickbait yikes now sneeko responded to this on a rumble stream where penguin zero was also live at the time the two would then continue to trash talk each other back and forth eventually making sneeko threaten penguin zero with a gun watch my clips watch my clips however yes, penguin zero then silenced Gun? sneeko but he's a Imbecile, you absolute These buffoon. are clips. These are what mags. What you have there is not clips. These are mags. They're mags, not clips. You absolute 
same them niggas same went way dick that for this dick, is bro. Also Golly, a bro. Man. They're all mad. If I see a nigga with a full head of hair and open robe holding this shit, fuck out of here, bro. Let's say I looked at my little friend ass fit, bro. I, I would this know. Time, I would know. The only damage Sneeko suffered was emotional, but that would change not even a year later. In February 2024, he got his toughness checked again as he stepped into the ring with. I'm gonna cut him some bail. He didn't fall over. I'm gonna cut him some bail. He didn't fall over. A lot of niggas would have fell in over. I would have. I would have. You know how niggas be falling on TikTok? That would have been me. Fuck out of here. God. 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 This God. made the internet very happy. This is the kind of reality check these out of touch streamers need. Sean went from 10% to 50% and showed Sneeko what a 50, good old ass woman feels like. Bro. Strickland should do a beat up an influencer weekly <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Hell, I'd watch that. However, despite being destroyed by Sean, Sneeko did have the confidence to step into the ring and take it on the chin, literally. The same thing cannot be said about this next influencer. Aiden Platersky, labeled the Crypto King, owned a crypto Damn, kingdom that, that seemed to be up. a win-win for everyone. He promised millions for his investors, while he got to drive his fancy cars, fly in private jets, and live in luxury locations. However, as it soon turned out, his $40 million empire was nothing but a giant Ponzi scheme, and he was about to learn the price of being a scammer. Late one night in early December, Aiden was kidnapped, and then beaten and tortured over three days. Eventually, his kidnappers, which included one of his investors, let him go, but they left him with a threat. Pay up fast and don't go to the police. Well, oh. Toronto police officers still managed to apprehend all of the five kidnappers. But following this, Aiden went on to post a video trying to garner sympathy from his followers. I've been in the what? No, nigga. I'm not going to put the blame on anybody else. I'm not going to try to put the blame on anybody else. I feel humiliated. I feel disgusted in my actions. I feel disgusted in what I did. But people would see through his haphazard apology. He's apologizing because he got oh, caught boy. and got his ass whipped, yeah. not because he's yeah. sorry he scammed people. Zero sympathy. He was not sorry when he was in that green Lamborghini, bruh. While his kidnappers would all be charged with the crime, the only person not charged would be Aiden, the scammer who started the whole situation to begin with. I really That's don't cool, understand right? how That's people us. like Aiden can simply walk free. If I walk into my local supermarket, push the lady at the till, and grab a couple of bucks and walk off, I would be in handcuffs before the sun sets. He steals millions, admits as much, and no real yeah. consequences. Well, until now. But what if getting beat up wasn't the worst injury I've you could sustain? This. Tanner I've Cook, a 21-year-old prankster, is the mastermind behind the YouTube channel Classified Goons. As the name suggests, the pranks are classified as dangerous, making Tanner out to be a tough goon, someone who isn't meant to be messed with, when in fact, it's quite the opposite. Well, Tanner elicits res- Bro, he looks like- Oh, come on, bruh. Y'all don't see it? Come on, bruh. That shit is crazy. Either that or yeet or something. While Tanner elicits responses from the victims of his pranks for views, one day, he didn't get the response he expected. This is such a- Like, what's funny about this thing? Invading oh. someone's personal space and then refusing to leave them alone after they tell you numerous times leaves you with one option. You're going to get dealt with by a person who has been pushed too much. Lesson to dummies, do not prank random people or they will prank you. Never underestimate the public. Tanner, who is much bigger and more intimidating to the shooter, was taught a master class in F around and find out. Yeah, and yet, ass. he still didn't learn his lesson, continuing yeah. to upload videos like nothing happened. So you'll continue. Look at this fucking dickhead, bro. You make videos? Yeah, probably. We'll see, you know? How disappointed are you about this? So I really don't care. Way. I mean, it is what it is. It's God's plan at the end of the day, so. Tanner was lucky to make it out despite getting shot. This is something that Timothy Wilkes did not get to experience. Inspired by other pranksters he'd seen, Timothy began dreaming of creating his own YouTube channel, recreating some of the dangerous pranks other YouTubers had done before him. However, this dream got cut short in February 2021 when Timothy, along with a friend, were in the midst oh, of filming a this is the fake knife one. I think I've seen this prank one robbery as part of a YouTube video. Armed with butcher knives, they approached a group of people. Actual knife prank! Wow, bro, rest in peace, but come on, dude. Unaware of the robbery being a prank, one of those group members shot Timothy in self-defense. 
Now in the end, Timothy did get the clout he wanted, but just for the wrong reasons. Sheesh, man. Sheesh, man. The fight between Zerka and HS Tiki Taki killed. That nigga got his ass beat, bro. Oh my god. This was a good video, bro. Yeah, I definitely need more of this. I need more of this in my feed. I ain't gonna lie. Um, shout out to Pex, though, bro. That, that was a really good video. Well, that was my reaction. Hope you guys liked it, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.